everybody Vermont Prepper here just wanted to go over a couple of generator accessory items that I think may come in handy during power outages um, as you guys know I've been kind of fascinated by different power sources I build solar battery boxes uh, I have a dual fuel propane slash gasoline powered generator that I hooked up a hundred pound propane tank to did a lot of research to get that accomplished where there's all quick connects and you guys ought to check out that video if you could but what I wanted to go over today was uh, a couple accessories namely this one called the Coleman mini extreme box right here and I'm not sure if it's made by the tent same tent company as Coleman you know as the Coleman tent company but it's uh, made by a company called Coleman, and I'll put a link up in my description for it. As well as some of the wire or, or the cables that you need to purchase in order to get uh, a better or a longer uh, reach for this mini box. So this cable right here, this yellow one, is for a 30 amp uh, connection on larger generators and this Coleman mini box what I like about it is it comes with four regular 120 volt plugs there and on the back another four so you have eight 120 volt plugs and they do make a bigger version of this but it doesn't come with the 120 volt it's more for like uh, some heavier machinery or whatever that, that require like, you know, 30 amp, uh, outlets. But this one is just for like a regular house. You, you want to hook up your, your cable, uh, your 30 amp, 30 amp cable into the back right here. You see it right here from your generator. And then you have 30 amps worth of uh, plugs that you can just plug from right inside your house. So all you need is one cable from your generator into your mini extreme box, and then you can run eight outlets in case of power outage. Now you might be saying, well, you also have a uh, an orange, little orange adapter here, and I'll show you what this is for. This adapter is a 20 amp adapter and you got to make sure that you understand power and that you don't overdo it if you use this particular adapter. And the reason why I have that adapter <clears throat> is over here, I have a smaller generator that I inherited from my mom. And this smaller generator actually has a uh, 120, 240 volt uh, adapter or uh, outlet and this is not the same as you would find in some of the larger generators it's a little bit smaller of a uh, of an outlet so the outlet that I have or the cable that I have this orange one will is an adapter that goes from that 20 amp into a 30 amp so I could only have like 20 amps coming into here from the smaller generator, but I could still use this same 30 amp cable. Okay, so that's the only reason why I have this one is for that smaller power mate generator there. That's like about a 3500 watt. So you got to make sure that you're just not running more than 20 amps through this thing when you uh, when you hook it up. All right, so the next thing I wanted to do is go over uh, a diesel generator that I picked up. And the reason why I picked up this diesel generator is because I have, as many of you know, uh, a military diesel blazer. And I figured, well, if I had to bug out or, you know, maybe just go somewhere that, you know, camping, extended camping or whatever I want to do, I can use that generator and have just one fuel source. So I don't have to have propane or uh, uh, gasoline, regular gasoline. All I have to do is have diesel gas. And 
I got a great deal on this thing, and I'm going to show that show you that it's in a different location. So I'm going to go over to my storage unit and uh, show you guys that, and I'll actually hook up this particular uh, unit here, this mini extreme box, and show you how it works. All right, so I'll be right back when I go to the storage unit. All right, guys, I'm back at my storage unit. I just wanted you guys to get a glimpse of this before I uh, turn on the lights. Shouldn't this thing, shouldn't this uh, storage unit be like in The Walking Dead or something? It's pretty crazy. And there's the lights. So you can just see the zombies walking down the hall. All right. If you guys ever have storage units, I recommend these master locks right here with the, uh, you know, they're circular. They're much harder to cut, even though you can cut probably through these things pretty easy. They're not going to get through the lock like something like this right here. That'd be like two seconds with a, uh, a bolt cutter, right? So... Go with these locks right here. All right, I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna get the uh, diesel generator out. Okay, everybody, I got the diesel generator out. I wanted to go over it a little bit. This is uh, a generator by a company called Atlantic Tools. And I don't know if they're still in business or not, but you can get parts for it. It's called a diesel power station. And this particular generator is 6,500 watts. Uh, it's really in great shape. I think it was made in like 2006 or something. But I got it off of a guy off of Craigslist, which I kind of lucked out. And, I, and I've looked at generators of this size uh, all over. And the cheapest that I could find, maybe somebody could find it cheaper. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, the cheapest I could find these kinds of generators at this power level is probably close to five thousand dollars, and I'm not lying when I said I got every I got it for a thousand dollars. Now, uh, great deal. The guy was out of you know near Lake Ticonderoga, New York, and he was an EMT, and he put a whole house generator in his uh, house, so he had no use for this diesel generator anymore so you just threw it up on craigslist and i just happened to hit it at the right timing and i feel that what i got was a great deal so what i did after that uh this thing makes a lot of noise right and it gen and it vibrates quite a bit so it came with this platform right here this platform right there and then i put uh off-road tires on it just like I usually do for, you know, the bigger battery boxes that I build. Makes it easier to, uh, you know, cart around your yard. And then what I did is I put some uh, decking screws in there so that it doesn't fall off uh, when it vibrates. So it's pretty much, uh, you know, pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy. Uh, and, it's, and it's really easy to move around. It is heavy. Uh, it did come with a brand new battery, and the guy actually gave me eight gallons of diesel fuel and kerosene. And I asked him why you mix the diesel with kerosene, which is what he told me to do. And he says you mix it 50-50 because he used to own older, not older, but, you know, uh, heavy equipment, uh, machinery. And he says if you mix the diesel with the kerosene... It won't freeze so he gave me eight gallons of diesel and eight gallons of kerosene so it's pretty cool and it was good good thing to uh, to learn all right so you see some of the uh, controls right here or the uh, outlets rather uh, you see your starter right here it's electric start and this if it sits or actually when you do start it you got to kind of push down this compression lever right there and then you release it right away okay here's your your fuel tank 
right there but this thing you just press it down and then as you're cranking it it uh, you just release it and it starts right up all right so 120 240 volt outlet which I have my yellow cable hooked up to and I have that hooked into my Coleman mini power box right there and then from that box you see right here you want to make sure that your uh, 20 amp breaker is on and you can test them here if you want and then you have your 120 volt uh, outlets okay so what I'm gonna do is I have that hooked up to this light right here and what I'll do is I'll crank up the generator it's gonna get really loud and then I'm gonna come in back to the storage unit and I'll turn the light on I'll show you how it works that's all it's not a big deal uh, just to show you how it works and then and then we'll light up my uh, my storage unit here and this is the uh, the other generator that I have the uh, Duramax which is the big job this is 12,000 watt and I did a video on this one as well it's propane uh, gasoline or gasoline so that's basically it guys so hold on while I uh, start this sucker up it's gonna get loud I'm gonna put this tripod down and we'll start her up is really loud I'm pretty far away you're not going to be stealth with it so uh, just keep that in mind when you buy something this big and it's kind of older uh, they're not quiet all right so here's your light you see it works perfectly all right so it's not you know there's nothing more else to show than that I think that uh, this gives you a good idea on the accessory and the power of it so you could have eight of them in the uh, in that mini extreme box eight outlets and uh, make it really easy for you so you can run a long cord or a long cable from that generator and uh, you can run just the one cable into the box inside your house and then you can run eight outlets from there it's pretty cool in any event uh, this is the can that came with it and one thing I got is a pretty cool vent right here these things come with uh, like those plastic tops I like the, the vent right there because it's really easy to uh, keep makes it, the gas nice keeps the gas in there real nice and also allows you to vent and pour it out all right guys that's it i hope you guys liked it and uh give you one last look Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, let me know what you think of this setup. I like it a lot. I hope you do too. Vermont Prep, we're out. And as always, keep prepping.